Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be interviewing my friend who was in Colombia, now he's in Mexico. Is this the new destination for 2021 since Philippines ain't opening anytime soon? Stick around. Hey buddy, uh, welcome back to my uh, channel. I appreciate you coming on again. And, and I know you were in Colombia two times and uh, back to the States and now you are in Mexico, right? Yeah, I'm in Mexico City now. I uh, went down for work. I actually was in Durango, Mexico for a couple of days and I decided to spend a long weekend here in Mexico City and uh, try to have a good time. Okay, so you're just there for the weekend or? Yeah, it was a work trip and I just okay. extended it a little bit for uh, to just test the waters and see how it is down here. I've been here many times for work before, but this is the first time I've spent a weekend here. Okay. It looks like you're in a, a bar restaurant. Yeah, local. I'm drinking some of the local uh, craft beer <laughs> and uh, not craft beer, Modelo, but it's good. Fantastic. So uh, I was just telling people, I mean, I think Mexico is kind of where it's at for 2021. Um, it, you know, maybe Thailand is going to come around here, but uh, Philippines, I, I just, uh, I don't think that's happening. So, and Mexico is just so close to the U.S. It just makes travel so easy, you know? Yeah, you know, it, it, it really is an option right now. Even Colombia is locked down until April 18th with curfews, uh, no uh -huh. alcohol restrictions and, and things like that. So very, very few options for people to travel and uh, have a good time. In, in Mexico still, you can go with no PCR test, um, nothing right. really? You don't need a PCR test to come in. You just have to fill out the immigration form. But okay. to get back to the United States, you do need a COVID test. You do, okay, that's right. Three days that's before right. you come back. So yesterday I was at a hospital in Durango. I had a nasal swab and about 24 hours later, I got my emailed results back and they were fine. And uh, I can present that when I fly home. And, and you've had the vaccine, is that correct? Yeah, I've, I got two shots of Moderna and uh, I've had lots of blood work. I'm, I'm reactive, meaning I have the antibodies, everything's good. And I'm, I tell you, I'm glad I have it because last night, uh, I got in about 10 o'clock and uh, the regular bars close at 10 o'clock, but there's uh, underground bars that are open till three in the morning and it's a party scene. It's crazy. Really? So it, it's like uh, no uh, pandemic or anything going on over at the underground bar is just good time. It was crazy. I mean, it's really right next door to my hotel and the, the people in the hotel said, well, our bar and restaurant close at 10, but if you go to, down the street a block, there's a staircase going downstairs. There was one guy standing out front would let you in and you got down there. Literally, there were 200 people, two DJs, uh, alcohol everywhere, yeah. nobody wearing masks, people dancing, singing. It was crazy. It was crazy. Wow. So what, how, how would you rate, I, I, you've only been, you're just there for a weekend, but, and you've been there a lot, many times, but what kind of dating is there? And what kind you know, of age gap can you even have? Yeah, you know, I went out for a long walk today uh, through uh, the uh, Reforma, which is a nice area here, and a lot of parks. And there's, you know, same aged um, locals holding hands, walking together. I don't think that, um, the options for uh, finding uh, a Mexican woman uh, to date or whatever would be an option for anybody that's looking for that. I just think it would be really hard to find somebody that's much younger. I mean, let's sure. just face it. We all, we all left um, relationships probably in the States or in Europe or something like that. And people that are watching your channel are interested in, of course, Filipinas and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, um, and that's, that's a welcoming environment for us. Sure. Here I feel as though it's, it's, it's more limited, a lot more limited. So Mexico really just a place to go unwind, hang out, uh, enjoy the beach and have a few drinks and, but not really, it's not a relationship uh, place that you're, most people are heading to. It's not, but you know, you know, I kind of thought about this. I know we've talked several times now and you know, 
if you're in a relationship with a Filipina, great, great. Um, I think that, uh, you know, you wait and that kind of thing. But, you know, if you're a typical American, maybe getting divorced, got, have been divorced or, or trying to get out there and stuff, I, I just think the best thing for you to do is to kind of go out there and test the waters, maybe go to Thailand when it opens back up, the Philippines. Surely you can go to Mexico, Colombia, and just really uh, kick the tires out there and, you know, for yeah. lack of a better word, you know, lay some pipe out there. <laughs> so is your, you're still wanting to go to the Philippines. That's really kind of where you want to go. Yeah, I, I'd like to get back to see uh, my Filipina there and, uh, yeah. you know, spend some time. And, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm traveling for work a lot. Last week I was in Los Angeles and Minnesota. Um, and uh, this week coming up, I'm also going to be back in Los Angeles. So I'm traveling a ton, but uh, mm. can't get to Asia. Can't get to Asia. No. Ho however, uh, Thailand, you can, but, uh, you know, you still have to do the quarantine. And uh, they, they are trying to uh, totally open for vaccinated uh, tourists. So we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, yeah. that's what they say. Right. Well, the Filipino Department of Tourism is also pushing for that. But whether or not they'll do that, we don't know. Yeah, that's the, that's the question. And uh, how long? How much longer can these long distance relationships last? Um, for, you know, for you, how, how long has it been since you saw your girl? A year. A year. A year. And uh, a year plus. So it's been hard. Um, yeah. You know, I I think that um, you got to have a good core. And I know you've brought this up several times to your viewers, but anybody that might be on a online dating service now and have not been there you just don't know you don't know what you don't know and right it, it does kind of seem like a waste of time if you've never met and get out of the dating service at this point i mean who knows right you can get here um totally different if you have already met and you're in a relationship that's that's completely different but uh yeah, that, that's a long time. Um, and I know some people have told me it's been two years, you know, and uh, they're getting ready to go see her. It, yeah. it already had been a long time, a year or something. And, and then now we're at two years. So we'll see. Well, I think, a lot, yeah, I think a lot of people live vicariously through you because you're there and you were there because you were working and, and doing other things. And then this pandemic hit and you're allowed to stay. Whereas you have so many people that were kind of in flux with where they were going and what they were going to do with their relationships. And then the brakes are put on and there's no options right now. There really isn't. It, uh, yeah. Unless you're well, I, connected. I, if you're living vicariously through me, uh, leave your comment on, on, on what you want me to do. <laughs> no, joking. But um, yeah, I, I'm enjoying life. I'm, I'm actually moved into a condo. You probably saw that in, this condo probably goes for around seven, eight hundred dollars normally. Maybe you could right. talk them down lower, but I am, I'm in here for four hundred dollars a month, and um, typically I probably wouldn't look twice. Me, me personally, with my my income level, I probably wouldn't look twice at rent at seven to eight hundred in the Philippines. It's really not right. an option for me. Um, but uh, yeah, so. But I would say for all your viewers and everybody that kind of watches this, and I know you, you know, you've done a great job interviewing people all over uh, the guy in Turkey and uh, you've had another interview or two in uh, Colombia and, and stuff like that. But for everything, I mean, like Mexico city is kind of expensive. Um, last night, the bar that I was in a beer was uh, $4. Now that's cheap for the United States. But sure. in the Philippines, it's usually less than a dollar or a dollar at the most. Right. In Colombia, it was cheaper too. So if you're going to pay for an urban city and an urban neighborhood like the reformer here. So um, yeah. food's great here. Of course, you know that as well as I do. Mexican food, you can't beat that. Um, sure. Lots of beautiful women walking around and... Um, but uh, last night I was at the bar and I was talking to a guy from New York mm -hmm. and he was much younger than I was. He was probably early thirties. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 
a woman came up to him. She was, she was a local woman, but spoke English. And he just tried to, you know, have a chat with um, her. She was probably about in her late mid twenties, I'd say. And she just wouldn't have anything with him, you know, not even entertain it. And I looked at him after uh, she left and I said, well, there you go, buddy. And, uh, you know, go to the Philippines, I guess. And uh, you live like a king. Yeah, I mean, Philippines is really hardly any place uh, left out there that's like it. You know, I mean, perhaps Cambodia, Thailand, um, some other places, but then you got English as a factor. So Philippines is really just really unique in that, you know, in that regard. So, uh, yeah, you um, been looking to leave for a little while and you, you uh, because you can't go back as freely as you might like, you're going to hang out. I don't blame you. I would. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was going to go back to the U S and because I really, things were, were kind of progressing. I was like, oh, okay, right. domestics opening up and they're talking about international. So I figured, okay, I'll go back to the U S get everything done, see my family. And, uh, you know, I got probably, I'll have to be there about three months. Um, and, uh, and then it started going backwards again. I was like, geez, I really don't want to be stuck, you know? So I decided to hang out a little while you know, longer. So yeah. Um, Short of a rapid full onslaught of vaccine rollout in the Philippines, there really is no solution. You're not going to get social distancing. You're not going to get the things that um, people think in the Philippines is going to work. I mean, how many times can you lock down and get the same result? Right. That, that's the thing. And, and, you know, the way they live here, they're, they're all on top of each other already I know. in such close quarters. And so social distancing is impossible. It's, and, um, you know, they have some crazy rules here. Like they want you to have a face shield when you go into the mall along with the mask, but even the security guard at the entrance has the face shield up on top of his head. And then you right. walk in, nobody's wearing it. And, Masks are often pulled down around the nose, so their nose is sticking out. So it's just, uh, you know, kind of crazy. Or, you know, husband, husband and wife, uh, they have to social distance out in public, but it doesn't make a lot of sense when they live together and they're married anyway. So, But, yeah, there was no social distancing going on at this bar last night, and it was crazy. And even in the streets here, um, some people wear masks, some people don't. Um, there's nobody going to enforce it either. I, I, I don't think that the, the police will, you know, I took my mask off today and um, when I was out walking around, it was such a beautiful day. And, and uh, sure. But uh, no, nah, this has got to be over. And, and the, the only solution will be either be a full rollout where, you know, maybe by the end of the May time period, the United States will have so much vaccine will be floating in it. We'll give some to the Philippines to, sure. uh, maybe have a little bit more control over the Philippine and uh, the South China Sea issue. So we'll see. So uh, last thing, we've been going about 15 minutes, so we'll, we'll end it here on, on this note. Um, what's your plan B? You can't, it sounds likely that you probably won't get out to the Philippines this year, possibly. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe vaccinated tourism at the end of the year, maybe, maybe. Do you have a plan B? What if uh, Thailand's open or would you go back to Mexico or Colombia? What, what, uh, what do you think? I'd go back to Colombia first because it's close and I love it there. It's beautiful there. And okay. it's got infrastructure and it's inexpensive. It's very inexpensive. So Colombia would be, be my next go-to when they change some of their requirements okay. and open up curfews. I don't want to go. I don't want to go a place where I'm going to have to sit in my hotel room after 10 o'clock at night or be told where I'm going to go. I just don't want that. Sure. Um, I guess I would go to Thailand if that opened up. Absolutely. Okay. But what does opening up mean? You know, we all know what the Philippines and Thailand was like before um, right. the pandemic. You'd walk down through, uh, you know, areas of Nana or, you know, uh, Pattaya or different places and, basically anything you want and anything you want to do you can do what's it going to look like now and that's the real question right that's true yeah, you, you don't know so okay. all right well good talking to you as always um it's uh 
it's a pleasure to kind of follow you around. You know, you've been to Colombia and Mexico. So uh, a lot of people wish they were probably in your shoes being able to travel like you do. And a lot of it's for work. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in laboratory medicine. So um, I'm a consultant and I help uh, hospital laboratories uh, do a better job at uh, uh, medicine and delivering results and uh, mm-hmm. areas of hematopathology. But um, Regardless, uh, I'm very lucky. I've been vaccinated twice. Uh, I try to stay as healthy as I can. And uh, sure. yeah, I'm always looking for my next adventure. So uh, I appreciate yeah. you sharing some time with me and look yeah, forward no to catching up with you down the road. Good uh, good catching up with you again. And uh, hopefully, hopefully sooner than later, we'll be uh, uh, meeting up and grabbing a coffee or a beer somewhere. So. I hope so. All right. Thank All right, buddy. Take care. Bye.